I think now is the time where we, you know, we, we have to start making a decision on uh, kind of what, what type of team we want to be. Uh, start focusing in on being a little bit more consistent, you know, throughout the course of the games. Uh, finding a way to string some games together. Uh, you know, the, 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 the baby steps is out the way now. The first couple games of the season is out the way. Uh, now is the time to kind of buckle down and, and, and take this thing to the next level. What positives did y'all take from last game? I mean, everybody's talked about, you know, some of the negatives. Yeah, and, yeah. And I mean, it's, it's, it's easy to uh, kind of talk about the negatives when you lose, you know, when you when you lose a couple games, when, you, uh, when you're not playing well. Uh, the positives that I see as, as a whole, as a team, is that everybody is trying to figure, you know, I, I don't want to keep saying figuring it out, but everybody's trying to do what they have to do to, to figure it out. Uh, to figure out a ways uh, to do their part uh, to help us win basketball games. That's what I. That's what I do see. Nobody is uh, moping around. Nobody is, fuss, is, is frustrated. Uh, I think guys are angry. I think guys are pissed. But I just come from you know your competitive nature, of wanting to win games, understanding what we have over here, the, the talent level that we have over here, uh, and, and not being able to put it together right now. So that's where the anger come in at. And uh, you know, I think in this game you. You almost have to be angry, you know, when you're losing basketball games. The way that the way that we're you know losing basketball games is, is more on us than anybody else. So the anger part comes in, and I think when you when you when you're angry, you show that you care. And it's different than being frustrated. Being angry and being frustrated is two different things. You said you've said before you feel like you guys are close. Do you still feel that way? Do you think there's any need to do something big? Do you think like a lineup change or anything significant? No, or do you no, think it's hell no, 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 not at all. I mean we. We're fine, man. It's you know, it's just like, like I said, it's on us to um, you know figure out how we're going to be you know consistent. And I think that's our biggest you know downfall right now. We're we're, we're not a consistent team. And, and once we get that consistency and the way that we want to play and, and continue on that you know that level of play throughout the course of the game, then we, we'll see the turnarounds. You've got a team coming in that you've already faced twice in the first 20 games of the season. Just your thoughts on playing against Minnesota again and what you'll have to do. We owe them. I mean, they, they came in here and they, we gave them a game, and you know, on our home court, we gave them a game on their home court. Um, so tomorrow is, is a chance for us to, you know, kind of redeem ourselves back here on our home court, and uh, you know, hopefully it is, you know, it, it won't be four in a row, and it, that that's our mindset. Carmel, you you've used the term figuring it out a few times so far today. What is like for you specifically? What is figuring it out entail? We're doing what we do, doing what we all do best with it within the uh, the confines of what we're trying to do as a, as a team. And uh, I think being in this league a long time, you see you see different things throughout the course of the game, throughout the course of the season. Uh, and, um, you know, I think as a team right now, we, we're still searching for kind of who we are. You know, as a team, as a whole, we don't we don't know that yet. I mean, yeah, we're one of the best defensive teams in the NBA right now. Um, but we still don't know exactly how we want to play as a from, from a complete game standpoint, offensively, defensively. We we haven't put it all together yet. Some nights it's offensively for us, and you know some nights it's defensively for us. So we have to put both of those together. You've got, you've got the, the lowest free throw rate in your career right now. Paul's got the lowest. Russ has the second lowest. What's what's causing those low numbers? Well, I think the way that we're playing, uh, I guess just the way that we're playing it, the way the way that the game is is coming to us and. Uh, you know, the way that we're playing and kind of on the perimeter, uh, off of each other, um, spacing, you know, kind of letting Russ play downhill, uh, playing off the ball. So, you know, in, in the past, we've all had the ball in our hands. Now it's a it's a different adjustment, you know, for everybody. So, But we still have to figure out a way how to, you know, get to the free throw line and, you know, get downhill and play in the paint and, uh, you know, add that component to our game. Alex mentioned you know, those one pass or no pass possessions that can really stagnate an offense at times. Is that something that you look at personally? Because there have been times in, you know, in the second half of games, uh, for instance, like the third quarter last night, where you have a possession where there's no pass and the shot goes up. Well, I think it's, it's more of a, of a feel. You know, and, and when you make it, it's a good shot. We miss it, it's a bad shot. And, you know, I, I think it's more of uh, a rhythm that you have to have in, throughout the course of the game. Uh, for myself, personally, uh, those are shots that uh, I've taken in the past. Those are shots that I feel comfortable with. 
Um, I'm pretty sure Russ feel comfortable, Paul feel comfortable with that. I think it's just a matter of knowing, you know, time scoring possession that we can do. We can all do a better job with that. So. You, you mentioned the other day that you've been on teams before that have gone through difficult, frustrating stretches. Yeah. Does this one feel this different? Not, yeah, but this is not, this is not, it's not frustrating, right. you know, because we, we know, we know what we have and we know what we can be and we know when we do it, the results that we get. It, 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 it pisses us, it pisses us off. It, it, it makes us angry when we're not getting the results you know, that, that we want. Um, we're putting in the work, but we're not getting the results. And I think that's when the, the anger come in that, and we 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 angry that we're losing, and we we gotta stop that. But it's not. I've been on teams before where we've dropped three, dropped four, dropped ten, dropped twelve, and <clears throat> after a couple games, the frustration level you know just gets higher and higher. And there's no this, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to say anybody is frustrated in here right now. So. That's what I was going to ask. Kind of, is that, does this one, does this locker room? And this is different. Yeah, it's different, man. And, you know, every team is, is different. Every situation is different. But um, I would be the first to say that, you know, this this is not a, a frustration, a frustrating moment, you know, for us as a team. Now, is there a chance that when you guys maybe come out flat or things go wrong on a possession, you guys kind of all expect someone else to pick it up? Yeah, I think it's just a lot of sitting back and waiting to see who's gonna who's gonna do it. Uh, when when things come on, we come out flat. When we start off slow, it's like okay, who's gonna who's gonna step up to the plate first? Uh, we got to get that out. We got to get that that mindset out of it. Uh, but for the most part, we start the games off. It's, I don't think it's our starts. It's you know maintaining it throughout the course of the games. This could be a painfully dumb question, but do you think you guys, because of the talent that you have, are putting too much pressure on yourselves to win? I think I, th- uh, I think we're trying to go get it and all all at once, rather than just kind of taking a deep breath, relaxing, uh, knowing that all of this is new to everybody. And uh, I, I kind of expected a situation like this, you know, for us to go through what we're going through. Um, maybe not now, maybe in December or January or something like that. But it was going to be a point in time where we all had to go through a moment like this to see what type of team we are, what type of guys we are, how we're going to come together. Uh, it's unfortunate that we, we're going through it right now, but um, it, it happens to everybody. And, and, and it's our turn right now, but uh, we can't cry about it. we got to keep pushing, keep fighting, and it starts tomorrow. That's the way I look at it. Carmelo, given your, your relationships with Ron and Dwayne Wade, do you remember anything about some, some of what they – went through when they kind of came together in Miami? Or? Yeah, I mean, I, re- I remember a lot of, uh, I mean, most teams who kind of came together the way that we did. Uh, it took time. I mean, I, you know, I don't like to compare, but it happens. I mean, new teams, new faces, new personnel, it happens. Um, I think for us, that's, that's where the, 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 the angriness comes in at because we know we can, we know we can be so good and we know we're going to be so good it's just having these moments right now that makes us stronger so. have you had conversations with LeBron or, or Dwayne during the season about that process in the past I mean not not this year not this year I mean it's early I mean it's still it's still early you know there's no time for nobody to panic or start making calls and what's <laughs> So we, we'll figure it out. Trust me, we'll figure it out. And you talked at the beginning of the season about how you had taken Russell under your wing. And last night we see some frustration from him at the end of the game, and he talks about being needing to be a leader and take control. What What are your guys' conversations? Well, he's, I mean, he's he's angry. He's not – I mean, frustrated, he's – I don't think he's – he's angry at, at the way that kind of we're playing and, you know, what we're doing. And I think as a leader of any, of any situation, you always want to take the onus on yourself. And – you know, trust me, I've done it for 14 years of, of, of my career, and I know what that you know I know what that feels like. But this is different, and we you know we, we cannot allow him to take all of this you know on by himself. And we get it together. We win together. We lose together, and you know it'll be it'll be it'll be fun again for us. Do you say anything to him in those moments where you, you see that anger to kind of tell him you've been there before? And- yeah, I mean it's, it's more about just staying positive in in, in, in these moments. Uh, and this is the time where you have to rely on, you know, the guys on the team to come together and have the support. The support have to be at, a, at an all-time high right now. And, you know, so you have to rely on us, and we have to rely on him. And, you know, we, we in this together, so there's no need for him to take this, you know, on by himself. And, but I get it. I, I, I get it. I, I've been there. Uh, I'm there now. I, I want to take it on, you know, on my shoulders myself. But 
we we in this together. So there's no need to put that much pressure on, on, on one person. Yeah, I mean, I think Alex is a really good offensive player, so I think Alex on the floor is always going to help your offense. Um, you know, I don't know if it's a direct correlation to the free throw. Like that, that would be hard hard to say. Um, you know, like last night we got to the free throw line a lot, you know. So I do think Alex on the floor, his ability to stretch the floor, his skill level, his understanding of how to play, uh, handling, passing, you know, all those things are, 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 are I think, a, a strong positive. But I do think that the, you know, Alex continuing to grow and develop um, defensively is important. Um, I do think, you know, I said this earlier, the amount of time that he's missed, you know, in training camp uh, certainly has impacted just where he's at uh, right now. I think he's still getting himself, his legs under him and those kind of things. But I, I got a lot of confidence in Alex and believe Dallas can definitely help our team. Dallas, you know, coming out of the Dallas game, you know, we, we, we addressed and talked about the shot selection and um, the ball movement, um, you know, those things. And, you know, they go out in the first half, did an unbelievable job with it. They were great. We had 14 assists. I think our offensive rating was in the top three. Uh, I think 33 or 34 percent of our total number of shots in the first half were at the rim. So they're really good, you know, when, when, when you, you talk to them and explain things to them and show them the reasons why. Uh, it's like I've said, it's the stamina to stick with it because in that third quarter, we, we didn't do it at a high enough level. Um, but to your point about benching players, I don't know if I necessarily agree with, with doing that. The, like I said, these guys are grown men. I think you communicate with them. They've got a lot, a lot of experience. And generally, when you talk to them about something that we need to get better or they need to get better at, they're, they're really pretty good, good about trying to self-correct or team correct pretty quickly. Threw him in there. You know, I tried to throw him in there. Threw Dakari in there last night. You know, um, again, I, I just think as a coach, you got to pinpoint and address, you know, what the issues are. I, I totally get what you're saying. Somebody brings a little bit of life. I think that had a lot to do with Terrence playing. You know, I thought with the back-to-back the -back against Detroit, he gave us a little pop there. Uh, you know, Steven got in foul trouble there in the first half, throwing him in there. Um, you know, you, 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 you can do that, but what ends up happening is I think you got you want to be convicted. I'm all for change. I'm all for doing whatever you can, tweaking, making adjustments, try to help the group. But also you want to be convicted. You know, it's just, I really believe this guy's a chance to help. Not that it's going to be a guarantee, but it's going to be a help. And I think to, you know, take an Andre or just somebody and say, okay, listen, we're taking you out of life because we just want to create a spark. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to see. And then it's like, well, you know, our first unit's been good. But I do agree you want to do something to kind of generate to your point, a spark or, you know, just some kind of change to help the group. I think we've done that throughout inside the course of the game with some rotations and those things. But the reality is we got we got to sustain it at, at, at a better level because clearly yesterday there was no real – I didn't think our defense was great in the first half, but clearly offensively I thought we played it a pretty – I mean, we scored 59 points in the first half. So some of the things that we talked about coming out of that Dallas game I thought translated over. So you sit there and you feel good. But, again, I think the main issue for us is just that stamina and consistency of doing it for the 48 minutes. I mean, that's really what it is. And it's not just one person or one group of players. It's, it's, it's our team in different you know, points in time of the, of the game. The, the, the point I was trying to make is that, you know, one is I love being around these guys. One, they're very professional. They're really good guys. And their communication and their experience is, is incredible. What I was trying to ex express yesterday was, you know, as a coach, you want to be able to help. You want to be able to help them play better, you know, function better. You know, uh, our team played better for 48 minutes. And then what you want to be able to do is, okay, they, you start to see that first, that first half, you know, we score 59 points, ball's moving, we got 14 assists, we got a lot of deep paint, we're taking advantage of the three-point line, the ball's being spread all over the place. And, and then for some reason we lose a little bit of that. And some of that is, okay, if the game's tight, let me go do it, let me help. And it comes from all comes from a good place. But I really feel like, we're, I will always want them to know, and my, that was my point yesterday, is we're all in this together. We're all trying to, so I have a responsibility, our staff has a responsibility to try to help them. So when you're talking about the vision, they know what the vision is. It's me as a coach trying to help them constantly try to execute that stuff and try to figure out ways to, to get them to stay on that course. And like I said, it's not that they have bad habits. If they had really, really bad habits, they wouldn't be considered great players. They, the, 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 I think the best way to look at it is this way. They all had to play a certain way in a certain point in time in a career, and now when you have this whole group, we have to play a certain way now. We have to create our own identity. We have to create our own vision with this group. 
And I think every year your vision and identity can change based on your personnel. So we've got to create that. I've got to help them. They've got to help. we all got to help together in creating that vision and that identity. And I think there's times they see it and they want to do it and they're committed to trying to do it. But you have to accept the fact that for some of those guys, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit new. It's a little bit challenging. It's something that's maybe a little bit out of their comfort level. But they're trying. They're really, really good guys. And they're, they're really unselfish. And like I said, their chemistry is really good. If you don't get like so many minutes of, uh, in the game, uh, you got the, the day after to practice, uh, the three on three, you get your rhythm, get your uh, uh, game rhythm shots especially, and, and just not to sort of focus on, just to be ready. If the next game you're going to play 30 or five minutes, uh, you always got to be ready. So that's what the practices are for. I mean, of course, like when you get like, say like more than 20, 25 minutes a game, you can get used to and you get a lot of uh, more open looks and, and it's hard to find like you don't have this uh, like y y you don't need to do everything uh, you want to do in five minutes you think you have like more time so that gives you like uh, I guess more uh, freedom and space to, to get better shots and uh, just wait to your opportunity I think usually is when uh, we get like so many one pass shots or you know, not even passing. I think when we get to attack the pain, uh, make the extra pass and find a, a better shot, it's, it's great for the team. Uh, I don't know why uh, in some stretches of the game we just stop playing like that. Uh, I think, for example, last game in the third quarter, we just stop uh, passing the ball to each other. Not the defense, it's defensive uh, part of the game. I think we, we're pretty good, uh, especially on half court. So we just got to. Uh, play our uh, identity uh, at the 48 minutes. What's happening is like we play a really good basketball for 30 minutes and then the red, uh, the 18, uh, the rest of it, uh, we just stop moving the ball and that's what the other teams uh, get back on the games or they get straight back to the other. And, and when you're out there and that happens, is there anything you can do in terms of communicating with your teammates? Like, hey guys, let's get back to this or do you think that's lacking when you're out there? What I mean. Yeah, I mean, we try to talk, obviously, uh, especially when uh, we got problems on the court and they get uh, run on. Uh, so, uh, I don't know, I mean, it's on ourselves. I think the, 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 the biggest mistake is, like, we got to be ready when those uh, moments in the game uh, come to us and just be a team. I mean, we proved against Golden State, against so many teams, that we can play the better basketball in this league. So, I don't know why we started doing that. Five minutes of the game.